Hey, 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 hey. It is Tuesday, day three of this uh, video extravaganza that I have going on here. Um, I have some stuff to do today. So you're going with me. No work today. It's a day off. It's an errand day. So I've got myself put together and I'm going to go <laughs> run some errands. I have to go to the pet store to get um, my oldest dog some food. Um, I buy her like fresh pet food um, to put her like meds in and stuff. Um, so I got to go get her food. <clears throat> I need to go to Michael's. I don't need to go to Michael's, but I want to go to Michael's. Just look around, look around in their little crafty section. Look at their diamond paintings and stuff maybe. And uh, what else do I have to do? Oh, I wanted to go on the hunt for some like October beer or pumpkin beer or something. Um, Kelsey's talks about it all the time and I need to try it. I do. I'm a beer person. I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not a really alcohol person. Um, I partake in other things, but, um, I don't, but I do like beer. Um, but I don't drink it very often, but you know, special time. I like it occasionally and I've been feeling like some. So I'm going to go see if I can find some. I have looked at like Target and Walmart and like the places I normally grocery shop and I haven't found any. So I'm going to go to the more expensive grocery store um, like that I usually go to for like specialty stuff. I don't go there very often, but hopefully they'll have like a bigger beer selection. I don't think I can think of any actual like liquor stores um, that would have a bigger beer selection other than them that's in my town. So I'm going to go there, see if I can find something. And I think that's it. Maybe I'll go some other places. I do have other places I need to go. I want to go to Spirit. I still haven't been to Spirit this season. Um, and I have some other places that I want to go, but I'm trying to spread them out throughout the month because I got a lot of vlogs to do. <laughs> I have a lot of videos to shoot and I, I don't want to be going to the same places every video. So anyway, I'm going to go run my errands. I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I might go by Goodwill too. see what they have in their like book section. Let's go. I'm going to take you with me. Sorry for the weird angle. I feel like this thing is like blocking most of the view, but I haven't got my replacement phone holder for my car yet. Um, the other one broke. Anyway, I really got to redo my nails too, but I also have yard work to do in the next couple days. So I'm kind of waiting. Anyway, <laughs> let's go do some errands. I did end up picking up a few books. I got two Bentley Little books. I got The Haunted and The Summoning. I have not heard great things about this author, despite Stephen King blurbing all of his books or whatever. I think maybe he like blurbed it once or they paid him to blurb it. I don't know. Maybe they're actually good. Maybe I will like them. I'm hopeful. Um, but anyway, so I got The Haunted, I don't know what this is about and the summoning and uh, I'll give these a go at some point. I also found, found a Bentley Little at Dollar Tree recently. I don't know if I showed that in any of my videos, um, but yeah, I found a Bentley Little there, the one with the eyeball on the cover, the store or something. Um, yeah, so now I have three Bentley Little books I need to get to at some point. And then I also got uh, Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach. 
this I've actually been wanting to read for a while. I'll probably listen to the audio, so I don't know that I actually need the physical copy, but um, I've been wanting to read this, so I was happy to find it. I got done so far. I finished up this today, filled a few holes that were down in the bottom, and then I've started to go up towards these middle pumpkins. Dinner time. And I got another beer. This is a brand new one. I have a headache. I probably should be drinking water, but whatevs. Puppies eating outside because it's beautiful today and i'm gonna eat dinner hello i don't know why i always throw up peace signs it's just it's a thing i do here you go anyway <laughs> um i think this is gonna be the last clip for tonight i just ate dinner i've had a headache all day and i've been powering through the day and just ignoring it it hasn't been like super intense but it's been like a low throb all day and i just i want to lay in bed and just bake out <laughs> and watch a movie or I don't know <sighs> I don't know but it's bothering me so um I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get any more reading done tonight I don't think I'm gonna do any more diamond painting I don't really want to focus my eyes on anything small like that so yeah I think I'm gonna just <laughs> watch a movie or something um anyway I thought I would check in before I close out the day um, and catch you up with what I've been reading today. So I started House of Leaves. I only got through 
the like introduction sorry if you can hear like the dogs barking and stuff that the dogs are barking for food in the kitchen anyway um I just got through like the introduction of House of Leaves and just started chapter one so I didn't get very far at all um but you know I read a few pages and I'm proud of myself I read a little bit um, so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely curious to explore more in the book. Go away, mosquitoes. Um, yeah, so that was fine. It is throwing me a little bit. I don't know why that the font is like typewriter font. I don't know why. I'm just not used to reading books like that, I guess. But it feels like I'm reading like a screenplay or something that someone just like typed together, which might be the point. Probably is the point that it looks like someone, you know, it's not a book. It's like a something that someone put together of a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, I, I read that and then I continued with Black Sheep by Rachel Harrison. I had started that yesterday and since I didn't vlog yesterday I didn't get to talk about it but I did start it yesterday and then I continued on it today I'm almost 40 percent in and I'm enjoying it so far I wouldn't say like I'm head over heels with it or anything but it has this one has a lot of conversations around family and religion kind of has cult vibes because it's dealing with religion um, but I like books that talk about religion and um, in the clip prior I made like a face towards the camera I'll keep that clip in and um, the kind of religion that her family follows that she's separated herself from the main character has separated herself from her family and um, goes back for a close friend's wedding and um, in doing that immerses herself back into the community they all kind of live in like this close community kind of cult like kind of commune like um but they all follow like a certain sect freaking plain can you see what i'm doing here <laughs> but when we get more information about what kind of religion they follow and that kind of stuff i don't know it just made me <laughs> it made me perk up I got kind of excited but um, it's essentially could be any religion I feel like that they're talking about um, any kind of dogmatic religion anyway um, you know with certain rules and guidelines and that kind of stuff anyway I'm enjoying it again it's not the most amazing thing ever so far but I am enjoying it I'm enjoying the conversations around religion and family and stuff so I, I always enjoy those types of topics in books <sighs> Um, so that's what I've been up to reading wise today. Um, I'm really enjoying my movie watching so far. Yesterday I watched <laughs> The Invisible Man. Was that yesterday? No, yesterday I watched Dracula, the original with Bella Lugosi. That was fun. Um, I, I still prefer Bram Stoker's, but I did enjoy it. It was fun. And then the day before that, I watched The Invisible Man on the first and it was hilarious. I don't know if it's meant to be a comedy, but I was laughing all throughout it. That was so fun. Um, wasn't really scary at all or creepy or anything, but just like the reactions that the actors had and like some parts of the storyline for The Invisible Man, again, the original, so funny it was hilarious and the invisible man in that version such an asshole oh my god what a creep <laughs> he was such a brick um anyway i thought it was great though i i loved it i had a blast it was super fun i don't know what i'm gonna watch tonight though i'm kind of feeling like something more modern even though i am really enjoying the classics um, so I think I'm going to pull something off of my October list and, um, yeah, so, um, I'll insert a clip after this showing you what I end up watching, but at this moment, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm going to close this out now. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I don't know what I'm going to have up tomorrow. 
it might just be another one of these I really don't know um, but I'm proud of myself every day I'm doing this and it's actually making me uh, more excited to post content here it's really getting me in the mood I was feeling um, I don't know I don't know what I was feeling last month but I wasn't like super stoked to be um, putting out content and stuff I don't know I was just feeling kind of blah but I'm getting in the, to the swing and even though it's a lot of work to go about my day plus film plus edit plus do all the things it's a lot um, but I'm enjoying it I really really am and hopefully I can continue this momentum throughout the month okay I will see you guys tomorrow I hope you have a wonderful night and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!